Hey, happy Tuesday, my loves. How is everybody doing? Uh, we're going to get started on your reading, and uh, we're going to see what spirit has for my aquas on this Tuesday. Let's get going. All right, guys. Wow, first card up, Ace of Pentacles. Nice, very nice. That's a very good start. All right, it looks like we're going to be focusing on that wealth and prosperity. Um <clears throat> We have the freedom card over here. So we have wealth and prosperity uh, that we're focused on with this freedom. So we could put this together as financial freedom once again, guys. And as you know, we see here the moon, this is things going on in the background that are spiritual in nature that we're not privy to. Okay, Aquarius, you're not privy to this information, but there's, you know, or you know, whatever this is, movement, information, energy, uh, but it all is connected, all right? So it's all connected to this wealth and prosperity that we are all very focused on right now. Let's see what else Spirit has to give to my aquas today. All right, we're looking at manifestation, all right? Um, all right, so I have someone... I'm not sure who I'm speaking to right now, uh, but I do have a person who is going through it right now. You're going through something. You're very upset with this uh, King of Cups and this Queen, Queen of Wands. There's judgment going on here, or there's at least, you know, thoughts about this couple or this King of Cups and Queen of Wands. They may not be a couple, but I'm seeing that someone is very upset with this masculine and feminine this morning um, and something they're trying. You're trying to manifest something. OK, um, but it doesn't look good. All right. This doesn't look positive. The manifestation card is here um, with you being upset and and having feeling these emotions these feelings of judgment um you know you're not happy with this king and queen so whatever this manifestation card is right here i don't feel like your intentions are good and so you might want to think about that because you're truly a good person in nature and you don't want to stoop down to anyone's level okay all right so here and i'm seeing the nine of wands Okay, along with the juggling with the money here. This is all about money, guys, this whole layout. Okay, so let's break it down. All right, we have um, a lot of you, a lot of you are feeling tired of this burden, this financial burden, okay? Um, in the center, though, I'm seeing something is going to break. Something is coming, and as we know... You know, this has been told to us for months now. This has been information given to us by spirit that this is coming. I cannot get an answer on the timing. I always do my own personal readings, usually right before I do uh, my readings for you guys, for Aquarius, and they will not give me any information as of yet, okay? I did one this morning, um... It looks like something is going to happen this week or something could happen this week. But I don't like to put it out there, guys, because this is a war we're in and it's ever changing. OK, so things are ready to go and then they have to put it off and then they might have to push it up, you know. So but as of right now, everything looks really positive about something huge happening this week, sometime between now and throughout the weekend. All right, I don't, it looked like it could be financial, all right, but don't hold my feet to the fire, all right, but I am seeing this abundance card in the dead center here, all right, and I am seeing an offer of finance that will be coming in, and I am seeing everyone is going to be building up money in their bank account. You're going to be standing back going, wow wow what is happening okay basically all right so let's move forward and see what else uh spirit wants to relay okay so all 
All right, this is involving two feminines. I have a queen of cups here. You're feeling very emotional. You're very sensitive. You're a sensitive person and you're feeling ignored right now. And this has you very upset by this empress. Now, this could be your mother. This could be a mom, okay? Um, something has this mom broken hearted, okay? So she's going through something right now and she is absolutely feeling broken hearted and you might be her daughter and um this could be some kind of misunderstanding i don't know if you're aware that mom is going through something heartbreaking right now or if you are and you're just not you know you're just not feeling like you're just feeling like she's being over the top and she's probably really not broke as broken hearted as she's telling you. All right. I don't know exactly what the circumstances here are. I just know that I have two feminines. All right. Um, this one, the queen of cups, um, you may be an empath, so you're very sensitive and you're feeling ignored by this empress. And this usually represents a mom, like I said, usually empathetic, loving and giving, but is going through this heartbreaking situation and it might be financial. Okay. She might be struggling right now. You know, sometimes us mothers, we don't tell our children certain things because we know that we are, you know, we get used to being the, the rock, the security, and we protect our kids. And even as you guys get older, we're still in protective mode and we tend to not tell you uh, when we're feeling vulnerable because we don't want to be seen vulnerable in your eyes. We want you to always look up to us as your uh, support and protection. All right. So, but here I'm seeing, um, this is a feminine here. I feel like someone you love has just told you that they are leaving or moving and you're feeling very confused about this because you didn't see this coming. Okay. And this person is looking at, is making this decision right now and you're in the middle feeling very, um, just in you know conflicted very conflicted and upset about this um and i'm not sure who this is to you i'm not sure if this is a significant or a son but this person is also feeling conflicted about this move moving out or moving away all right so right now there's a lot of confusion and confliction going on and let's see if i can get more on this Okay, now, but this is a completely different situation, all right? So here I'm seeing some kind of movement. Something is happening that's bringing in celebration for this King of Pentacles. This is also the card of abundance. This is, uh, you know, wealth and abundance and security, this card, okay? Um, this is also, though a masculine who is celebrating right now you're celebrating you know yourself as well because you're very confident in yourself you're very self-assured you're secure in yourself and you know how to treat yourself you treat yourself very well um with love and kindness and here i'm seeing this other masculine this king of swords here on the opposite side of the star so there is a connection here between these two masculines in the center. I'm seeing that both of you, both of you not only feel, you know, very confident with your, within yourselves, but you admire each other uh, very much. Okay. So I don't know if, if this is partnership family, but I see there's a lot of respect here and admiration for one another. Um, there is something happening. Something's coming in quickly, all right? I see a partnership. 
I see a partnership developing from these two masculines that I'm talking to. I don't know who's watching, but a business is going to be formed. You're talking about it because you're both very um, respectful and look, you know, to each other, look at each other very, um, you know, in a, you know what I'm trying to say. You're very close and you, you trust each other. Very trusting relationship, okay? You're both uh, have this very strong bond, all right? I'm seeing this, this business idea, this thing being formed quickly. I'm seeing decisions being made and I'm seeing over here um, this king of wands. So now there's a third masculine involved in this, okay? Partnership. So I feel like you might even be talking about bringing a third person in. Okay, guys, and here I'm seeing, um, I feel like something has ended for someone or, you know, you're, you're transitioning, you're moving in this, you're going through something right now, heavy duty. Somebody's going through something heavy duty right now. You need to go through this, Aquarius, okay? Um, this is something that you know, this, these emotions you're going through is, um, somehow going to benefit you. There's a lesson here, I want to say. So you're feeling left out in the cold and there is maybe someone very toxic in your life that you are needing to deal with, confront possibly. And, you know, this will, uh, unstick you because you're feeling stuck and I feel like you're even depressed about something all right um the transition however is going to be something good for you something that you've needed to do for a while um and just haven't been able to get there but I'm seeing that you're getting there now you're in the process of this transition all right. You're going through it though. You're feeling all kinds of emotions and even some depression and stuckness. Okay. But this transition, as I said, is going to turn out to be, you know, one of the best things that you ever went through in your life, not the pain part of it, but the outcome. Okay. Because you're going to be better and stronger for it once you come out the other side. All right. And here guys, um, that could be, Basically, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, that could be a whole lot of you. That could be a whole lot of you. Uh, what we're going through right now, guys, and, you know, what's up and coming. There are some big things up and coming. Um, you know, I've been talking about it. I'm not going to harp on it, but we all have to be strong right now. Uh, I'm seeing this Ace of Wands here regarding this opportunity, guys. So there's an amazing opportunity on its way for uh, possibly this Knight of Wands here, okay? And it looks to be some kind of good news, good news coming in. This opportunity holds a lot of uh, good things that are going to come from it. It's going to continue to flourish. It's going to blow up, basically. It's gonna, you know, blow up big for you. Um, and I'm um, seeing, again, good news for this Knight of Wands. And, it you, you know, there's some connection to this Knight of Cups here. So this looks like, you know, it, it includes the two of you. So, again, I have these two masculines. Um, one of you looks very creative. The other one is real uh, giving very loving person. Okay. It might be, you, you guys might be brothers or I don't know what your relationship is. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to guess, but I am seeing that this huge opportunity is coming for you. Okay. And it's, it's going to be something really good. You're going to hear about this. It's going to be like news, um, some kind of news, good news coming in regarding this opportunity. And it, you know, having that ace there is amazing. It is amazing. All right. That's just growth and things, doors opening up and things flourishing, you know, blowing up bigger. All right. Here's the sun, guys. I see next to the sun, though, I'm seeing somebody's happiness is being spoiled because there's someone in your circle who is doing something underhanded and bringing in this sadness, okay? Because there's a realization here that you have to start over. Someone has to start over, 
all right and there is um yeah financially all right so what i'm getting from this is um somebody you know you're you were happy but then somebody just changed uh i feel like this is someone in the relationship with you changed they're doing things now that are underhanded so the relationship has now changed there's a mistrust and there are things going on and you're upset because you know you didn't want this apple cart you know knocked over so to speak which it is now now you have to move you have to start over and you know you need to figure out what you're going to do financially and guys you know this is why i'm always telling you you know look to yourself for everything first all right become a pillar of strength by um setting yourself up so you're secure in life you can take care of yourself financially you're emotionally strong you love you love yourself more more than anyone else you are your own pillar of strength and then if you meet somebody it's icing on your cake you know what i'm saying because people change their minds people leave marriages sometimes they don't work out sometimes people change so you must have your stuff together you must be strong okay so if if in fact anything ever happens you don't feel like this like you're you're scattering now you're you're, you're worried sick because you know you have to start over and you're not the breadwinner for yourself all right all right let's continue here i'm seeing i'm seeing some kind of intuition being used here i have the high priestess this is a very uh highly spiritual card here um it's next to something that my aquas want okay and you're gonna get clarity on this uh thing that you're wanting um with this opportunity coming in this uh offer coming in and this is something that a lot of you have been waiting for for a long time time a long time okay let's see if they're gonna give us tell us what it is okay all right i have they're not but i do have a feminine here who is uh whose wish fulfillment is coming to fruition all right right now you're feeling stuck and something about this wish fulfillment when it happens um you're gonna be even more stuck all right, so this is something you think you want or you've wanted and unknowingly um, not knowing the outcome, you're going to feel stuck. And at the same time, you're going to be very happy. So this is a contradiction over here. I'm seeing a tower moment. So I feel like what they're saying is you're going to be happy for a hot minute and then you're going to be feeling stuck and going through it. Okay, so. If this is resonating for anyone, if your spidey hairs are up right now and you're like, this this could be happening to me right now, and there's any chance you're thinking that the person that you're hooking up with that you've wanted or thought you wanted might not be good for you, now is the time to pull back before you get your heart broken. All right, and here I'm seeing... Uh, it looks like a work scenario, guys. I'm seeing a boss figure along with employees, teamwork, something going on at the office. Somebody's moving away from this uh, position or this career, um, and you're doing it for your happiness, but you're afraid, and you're carrying this burden as you're moving away, um, but you're moving toward your happiness and celebration. So this is actually... You know, I think a positive thing, guys, we have to be happy. We've talked about that. We're at our job so many hours a day. If we're miserable, we're bringing that shit home with us. It's in our dreams. We're having nightmares. We wake up in the morning to do that all over again. And that could literally make your life a living hell is being unhappy at a, a job, right? So here I'm seeing um, something is ending at work here. This might be the same uh the same situation i'm seeing an ending to the workplace you're gonna hear about it you're gonna hear about this soon okay um and it looks like a layoff or something where they're gonna even maybe cut your your pay taking asking you to take a pay cut um
Yeah. That's what I'm seeing, guys. All right. And here I'm seeing a balancing out um, in this commitment. All right. So somebody's in a commitment. I'm seeing that you're balancing something out. And I feel like you're doing something or saying something to someone that is going to make them feel uh, secure, like they want this commitment. And it's going to bring in some healing even to one of you or both of you. Um, yeah, I'm seeing you uh, moving toward something. And um, I don't like this card here, this Five of Swords, guys. Five of Swords. Yeah, I don't know. This is like something, um, maybe a confrontation or some something underhanded. Or just maybe just you're nervous about um, this balancing out. You might be asking someone to become committed. Maybe asking them for uh, their hand in marriage. Or, um, yeah, this could just be that you're nervous. This five of swords. You're, you're almost... You're afraid that they're going to say no. All right. This doesn't have to be marriage. It could be just, you know, asking the person if they will just date you and you alone. But I'm seeing you, you know, being really concerned about this. And then lastly, guys, we have this windfall um, and all this positivity. So really awesome things coming your way, Aquas. Okay. Um, they want you to stand up for yourself and just, you know, you know, defend yourself where you're needed, where you're needing to, I want to say. Seven of Wands is, um, yeah, basically, you know, you're feeling defensive right now. This is in the center of this windfall and all this positivity and this victory coming to you. This is going to be a victory. So you don't, you know, you don't have to feel defensive anymore. You know, just stand up tall and get ready. That's all. That's all this is, guys. It's time to, you know, it's time to get ready. Guys, I, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.